Hello guys, I hope you are all well. Welcome again to another video. Today I am going to show you how to make a sweet almond oil creamy face and body shower gel without the use of a solubilizer. We are preparing a batch of 200 grams. I need a beaker to mix the ingredients in. I pour my distilled water into the beaker. You can replace distilled water with rose water or any hydrosol of your choice. Then I add sweet almond oil to the distilled water. I use sweet almond oil in this recipe for its soothing, softening and moisturizing properties. You can replace sweet almond oil with sunflower oil, grape seed oil or olive oil. The next ingredient I add to the beaker is Olivem 1000. Olivem 1000 acts as an emulsifier and a thickener. It is compatible with a wide variety of cosmetic and active ingredients over a wide pH range of 3 to 12. It can be used to prepare face and body creams, oil-free creams, face and shower gels, and hair shampoo. Guys, it is not possible to replace Olivem 1000 in this formula. After adding in the Olivem 1000, the next step is to place the beaker in a water bath and heat on medium heat to about 70 degrees Celsius using the double boil method. Mix every now and then so that the heat is evenly distributed. When the Olivem 1000 has melted, continue mixing till you achieve a pudding-like consistency. You need to be patient as this will take some few minutes. I mix for some seconds with a spatula. When you have a consistency like this, remove the beaker from the water bath. The next step is to mix the glycerin and xanthan gum together. I add the xanthan gum to the glycerin and mix till they blend well. Then add the glycerin and xanthan gum mixture to the beaker and mix until they blend with the rest of the ingredients. After mixing with a spatula for about 2 minutes, I mix with a hand whisk until I achieve a smooth consistency. Guys, it is very important to achieve a smooth consistency before you add in the surfactants. When we have achieved a creamy and smooth consistency like this, we move on to the next step, which is to add in the surfactants. The first surfactant I add is cocoa glucosate. Then I mix till it blends with the rest of the ingredients. Please be gentle when mixing, otherwise it may become too foamy, making the formulation process more difficult. You can replace cocoa glucosate with diesel glucosate. After mixing with a spatula for about a minute or two, I mix again with a hand whisk. Mixing with a hand whisk helps us to achieve a creamy consistency. After mixing in the cocoa glucosate, I add in my core surfactant, which is coca propyl betaine. Mix until it blends with the rest of the ingredients. If you wish, you can use cocoa glucosate as your sole surfactant. Mix with a hand whisk again for about a minute or two to control the consistency. After mixing in the surfactant, I add in the preservative. I use Liquid Gemal Plus as my preservative. Liquid Gemal Plus can be replaced with Preservative Echo, Lucidal Liquid SF Max, or Geogat 221, also known as Cosgat. 
When substituting any ingredient, please follow the recommended dosage as stated by the supplier. After mixing in the preservative, the next ingredient I add is my perfume oil. I mix till it blends with the rest of the ingredients. The next step is to test the pH value of this sweet almond oil face and body shower gel. To test the pH value, I add 2 grams of the shower gel to 8 grams of distilled water. Mix well. Then dip my pH strip into the mixture for about 10 seconds. Remove it and see what the pH value is. The pH value is about 7 which is a bit high. I will lower it to around 5 and 5.5. To lower the pH value from 7 to around 5 and 5.5, for 200 grams of this shower gel, I add 0.50 grams of citric acid to it. Mix well. Then test the pH value again. Guys, if you wish to obtain an accurate pH result, make sure to use a digital pH meter. As you can see, we now have a pH of around 5, which is perfect. The next step is to pour this face and body shower gel into a clean sterilized container. This sweet almond oil creamy face and body shower gel can be used in the morning and in the evening. It is mild on the skin and it leaves the skin feeling soft, fresh and moisturized. After you pour it into the container, seal airtight and store at room temperature. Guys, we have come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching the video and thank you all for the love and support. Please do not forget to like comment, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. I wish you a wonderful day and hope to see you in my next tutorial. Bye-bye and God bless you.